hurts. And really, um, in this particular question, of course, you're not necessarily responding to a poll. You're describing what does your instructional model look like and how is technology integrated into instruction? Nicole, do you want me to stop sharing so you can share? No, oh, I thought I had shared. That's okay. So no, it's okay. You can move on. I'm seeing there are people that have early learning, so I'm gonna grab the resources for them. Very good, thank you so much. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move on forward. Now, there are 30 standards in the, the process for Cognant, and they are organized into four key characteristics. And those key characteristics are culture, leadership, engagement, and growth. And we discuss those on pages 13 through 19 of your workbook. The key characteristics are critical uh, in understanding why they are organized the way they are. We start with standards one through six about the culture of the institution. That is the base of your institution is the culture and what it's about. As you move up in standard seven onward, you talk about leadership and how leadership guides and functions of the school. Then we have engagement of what's happening in the learning environment and finally growth and how things are moving forward and how learners are achieving their goals, how teachers, how the school is achieving its goals. So each of those key characteristics has associated standards one through 30. And we're gonna ask that you rate yourself on those standards. Culture is when we have things like stakeholders are involved and learners academic and non-academic needs are that the focal point. People are included, they feel supported. There is a dimension of equity and inclusion in your institution. In leadership for learning, you have strong communication and how leaders model and engage uh, the stakeholders and what, how do they influence and lead that new institution forward? One of the pivotal standards in leadership for learning is standard seven, and that is the continuous improvement standard. Are you committed? Are your leaders committed to continuous improvement? Critical standard. Then you have engagement. What's happening in the learning environment? Um, are learners included in the learning process? Do they participate? Do they have a sense of agency over their learning? Are learners given choices? What does this learning environment look like? And then of course, our final capstone key characteristic is growth. How, how do we know our learners are meeting the skills they need? What knowledge and skills are they obtaining? Are they ready to move forward to the next level? Are we preparing them for success in our learning environments? Those are our four key characteristics in a snapshot. So we're going to do an activity now where you're gonna think about the key characteristics. You're going to select one of the key characteristics. You don't have to pick all four. In fact, don't pick all four. Select one and you're gonna provide an example of how your organization demonstrates an element of that key characteristic. And I believe, Nicole, that is in the Padlet again, isn't it? Yes, it is. So let me put that <coughs> back in. There we go. All right, Nicole has put the Padlet link in the chat. So I've clicked on it again, and here we are. These four, culture of learning, leadership for learning, engagement of learning, and growth in learning, you'll just pick one. Pick one and tell us how your institution demonstrates sufficiency in that key characteristic, knowing that there are several, you know, between six and nine standards in each of them. Just maybe a brief description of how your institution demonstrates their capacity in, in those. So as a demo, I'll just start off and say uh, engagement. And my is 
we train our instructional staff to use engagement techniques and evaluate the level of engagement through observations. So that would be kind of a, a sample. And I'm going to go quiet for two minutes so you can enter this information. Okay, take just about another minute and a half, and we'll start going over some of your examples. Okay, so let's go ahead and start sharing out some of the examples. So in culture of learning, uh, that first one, featuring student work prominently. Absolutely, that definitely makes learners feel included when they can see their work uh, displayed throughout the school. Uh, having that opportunity to develop uh, positive relationships, and that is one of our standards within the culture of learning key characteristics. So really think about what systems you have in place to ensure that uh, learners are developing those positive relationships with each other and the staff in the school. Um, also maintaining that inviting campus, definitely thinking about the different opportunities you have to bring families or other members of the community into the school. And then even thinking about what that participation rate looks like. That really is a way to demonstrate that impact uh, that uh, learners and families and the community really do feel a part of the culture of the institution. So all of those would be excellent examples. Uh, in Oops, it just went away, Bill. Okay, I'm going to pull it up on my computer then. Um, so we can't see it on the screen, but I'll just continue reading because I've got it on mine. So in Leadership for Learning, uh, that five-year strategic plan with those annual assessment of goals, absolutely. The improvement plan is one of the most important documents that we're looking for um, because that really does demonstrate your commitment to continuous improvement and having that process uh, where you are having specific metrics you've identified and really ha having a process of reviewing those metrics would be an important important uh, component. Um, this, another example, this 10-year capital improvement plan. So yeah, also that capital improvement plan really um, speaks to how you're allocating those resources and creating those long-term goals, and then how you're uh, working to achieve those goals uh, within that. So those would be excellent examples. 
uh, an engagement of learning, that peer observation system, absolutely. How do you, so if you've got strong practices in some of your classrooms, how do you really share those out with other classrooms so that you can ensure that every learner has access to that engaging environment? Um, having more diverse resources, absolutely. That is another standard within that section is looking at your curriculum and how it does represent the learners um, and that learners do see themselves represented in your materials. Uh, within growth in learning. So this focuses, I'm seeing a lot of examples of um, assessments that you're using and those analysis systems to really see that learners are making progress uh, and achieving the goals and skills you've set providing that training so that teachers do have that skill set to be able to analyze data. Also, the system of teachers um, giving the information to the next teacher so that the teacher isn't starting from scratch. They really know this is where my learners are before they start with them. All of those are excellent examples uh, for each of those key characteristics. So I'll turn it back over to Bill to continue on. Okay, and I was clicking buttons. Sorry about that, Nicole. It's okay. Someone, I need to take a class. Um, all right. When we're reading the standards in the candidacy uh, portion, we want you to rate your capacity for each of those standards. And again, you have two choices. You're either sufficient or needs improvement. And sufficient means that you are at level three or level four, and that you are currently meeting that standard. And levels one and two mean you have some work to do on that particular standard. Again, don't feel compelled to have a certain amount of each category. We just want an accurate picture of where your assessment is because we are your partners. We want to help. So, <clears throat> You do have the opportunity to use your, your leadership team to help you rate those standards. It's best done in a collaborative environment. Some institutions have teachers give their ratings on certain standards and they collate those. Some have discussion groups. Um, a, a not so strong process is assigning someone to do it. Say, okay, here, you, uh, welcome to being the new assistant principal. You have to do this process and rate these standards, just get it done. That's not particularly genuine. We want you to be using that leadership team and that collaborative process. In fact, we're going to ask how you did this process in the diagnostic. We're gonna do another activity. We're gonna engage you again. And that based on the evidence provided, uh, determine if an institution demonstrates the capacity to meet the standard. So we're gonna give you a couple scenarios. Uh, we have one scenario. How many scenarios do we have, Nicole? Four? Three scenarios. Three scenarios. Three. So you're going to look at those three scenarios and you're going to say, are they sufficient or do they need some improvement? And that is going to be done through a Google form. And it, Nicole has put the form in there. And when you click on that, it will look like this. So you'll go through, you'll look, read that uh, evidence and that standard and you'll either mark sufficient or needs improvement. And then we'll share the results because we do have some, some answers for this one. And Nicole, are they doing this independently or are we gonna put them in groups? Uh, they're gonna go to a breakout room. Very good. I'm going to, I will set up some breakout rooms for us. And Nicole, if you wanna share how that process should work. Yes, very good. So Bill's going to set up the room. So what you'll do once you get into the room, if you could choose one person to share their screen, and then you're all going to discuss collaboratively what you think the rating should be. We'll give you about five minutes to have that discussion. And then once uh, we see that most people have responded, we'll come back and uh, share out the group's responses. We do want, even though you're all going to work together, we want everyone to respond. So whatever your group agrees with, everyone will answer the questions on their own Google form. Do make sure that you click the link before you go to the breakout room because chat disappears when you go to the breakout room. So make sure your link is ready. You've clicked on it and you have access to it. And now I'm going to open the rooms. We'll see you back 
in about five or so minutes. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Hello. I do have so I can see this. Let's see you. Well, we do support. Are we supposed to click on the Google form first? I'm not sure. That's what I was hoping somebody was more savvy at that than me because I I was happy to successfully get to this breakout room. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So so they are when we click on the uh uh form, there are three scenario. So they say pick one scenario. So which one we want to do? One, two, or three? Looks one is easier. Culture learning. Do you know how to share your screen? Because I don't know how to get to. Oh, that. oh, okay. Let me see. Let me, right. let me, let me, sh let me see if I can do it. Okay, right away. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, I I can do share. I can share screen right now. All right. So. You know what I mean? Yeah, I share screen. Are you able to see my screen? Yes or no? Yes, I can. yes. Okay, so uh, here we're going to choose number one. How about that? Culture of learning. Okay. And so the only professional learning staff participate in, in was a, a publisher training section on how to use the textbook at the beginning of the academic year. So that's culture. And Professional, the standard is professional staff member receive the support they need to strengthen their professional uh, practice. All right. So, uh, so we, we're going to decide it on the level three. Uh, professional staff member receive adequate resource and a system based on data and information unique to the individual professional staff member receive pro personal uh, mentoring and coaching from leaders and peers. All right, so do you think this is enough evidence for, for this level three? No. Uh, yeah, N need improvement, is that right? Yeah. Okay, can you tell me why need improvement? Is that because it's only a uh, publisher training section and how to use textbook? There's no engagement and there's no assessment. That's how we feel. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so yes. Okay. Just so, like a one done and there's not. Yeah. There yeah. Follow up and. Yeah. Okay. So do we need to do another one or we can click submit? I don't know. Do you want to go to a leadership for learning? And the level three is leader regularly engage professional staff member in developing communication, implementation, uh, monitoring, and adjust the continued improvement process. The continued improvement process is based on analyzed data about learn learners' ac academic uh, and non-academic needs and institutions, organization affecting this. 
leaders and then then we are going to say the evidence this the school has goal for improvement that they derive through department departmental discussion with some activity assigned to leadership but no written action plan or document so this probably not need an improvement is that yeah, right it needs because yeah. you need the evidence mm -hmm. to support it so it needs improvement okay so let's go to the engagement of learning again the level three is this conditions within most aspect of the institution are learning center and learners activity discovery and expression of their needs and interests learners give input into most of instructional and learning activity available to them learners are frequently involved in identify their learning target and monitoring their progress and here we do these uh, student profile uh, our collective identify individual student need student participant project so what do you think looks like a, is sufficient i say sufficient and sufficient. i know we're about to be to send back out <laughs> okay so we are going to leave our uh breakout room right now okay so okay. bye everyone yeah. <laughs> see you soon again bye. okay so we're going to leave breakout room okay Okay, very good. So we could see everyone is having engaged conversations. And one thing, which we'll see if this is still true now. Yep. So your group, I think we haven't had this happen in several months, but every single group was in agreement and got all of the questions right. Uh, so we won't spend a lot of time discussing. Uh, but scenario one, the correct answer was needs improvement. Um, in just a couple of comments, of course, here, what we're looking for is that there's that differentiation of professional learning based upon uh, each teacher's needs. Uh, and so that one publisher training session, of course, would not be an example of that. Uh, and then the second one, same thing, needs improvement. Here, we're really looking for that improvement plan that you've got that formal process where it's written down and you have a regular system of collecting information to see that your improvement plan is achieving your intended goals and you're making those specific adjustments. And so here, it's not written down and they don't really have those documented procedures in place. And then finally, that last one in standard 19, uh, this one, the correct answer was sufficient. Um, here, we really are looking for opportunities where learners do have that chance to um, demonstrate what they've learned. They can choose learning based upon their interests, as well as learning as planned based upon their needs. And so here the example was that they got to choose, the, there were projects and each uh, learner had that opportunity to choose the mode of presentation and they had multiple different ways to be assessed. And so that would be an example of sufficient. So thank you all for participating in that. Uh, we're gonna move a little quicker in this next part just because we're running low on time, but I'm gonna turn it back over to Bill so he can continue on the next step of the process. Hey, uh, in the in the standards rating uh, diagnostic, you're going to have an opportunity to create three short uh, narratives.